Sorry for the extra long wait, guys. But I am back, and I'm happy to be back. Uh, I definitely apologize for that, but like we, I, Naomi had to come in, and then we might have been locked out for a minute, and then like <laughs> we had to carry the garbage out, and then I, I made her a very a very quick dinner because um, well you know, I love her. I get elemental shields for everyone? They look quite tough. Hey, go ahead. Any clips that you guys make, post them in the clip channel on Discord, man. Is the spiked shield better? It might be. Man, all this stuff is better. Look at this. Kitchen counter sticky, come on. I actually did make her dinner. I'll buy a ring because Ophelia doesn't have any rings. Mighty belt. Or you don't need physical attack. I guess we can probably use it a little bit. A user, uh, user uploaded soundboard. That sounds like it'd be cancerous as all hell. Maybe we'll do side quests since I can't seem to be able to actually tackle this dungeon. And once we get on the side quest, well, I'll tell you a story or two. I think that a lot of these side quests, I literally just have to, like, start walking around the overworld. Like, this, this, this there's like a, here, let me show you. There's a ring. This, this ring, this path here, it's like a giant ring. And, it, and this is the, basically the starting area of the overworld, this, this ring around this bay. And all the side quests seem to be happening in this ring. So maybe I'll just do them. Yeah, see, Titanium, I agree. I just I don't have the money for it right now, you know? So I think what I'll do is I'll do some side quests. And then I will, um... I'll do some side quests. And then I will check out, uh... Once I get some money from the side quests, I will go and buy some better equipment. Because this town has some amazing equipment for way too much money. So that might be what I have to do. There was an old man on this riverbank who wants me to take him back to a town I was at earlier. So let's see if I can find that. <laughs> you won't feel a thing. How about you? Donate bitcoins for dev's equipment. Anyway, um, there were, there were a few new people recently. I think you're one of them, Titanium. The other one is he still here? Yeah, Kleiner. Yeah, you guys. The joke is that you guys have arrived during one of the the worst moments in show history due to all this stuff that's happening. And actually, the actual show of Game Boomers is nothing like what you're currently watching. It's still just as cozy in my opinion, but it's not it's not like me solo and and like you know drama spurging out. It's just not that kind of thing. I have I have visited Vancouver, but not for a while. I went when I was in high school. He's a knife.
The coach is small because this is my single player coach. Usually, the coach is, there's, there's like a, there's like a, no, not 20 years ago. There's a longer coach that can fit two people. And it's like, Dave and I. Oh, okay, Titanium. Well, it's good to see you though. Good, it's good to see you back again. I can just blizzard you guys. All right. <laughs> nice, Parrot Man. Good job with, with the uh, the car. What's the big idea? What's the big idea? <laughs> He's just that fat now. Yeah, that's absolutely the fucking case, dude. Um, but yeah, usually the show is a couch, and there's two of us on here. You, either Dave and I, or Naomi and I, depending on whatever game it is that's going on. And then if we have like three or four people, we have um, chairs that go behind the couch, like um, office chairs, like rolly chairs, and they'll hop on those and then we'll, we'll do like a three or a four player game. No, 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 I have a longer couch. Victory shall be <laughs> the sad posting in a, in a way added to the appeal and the coziness. Well, the, the main show, when it's, when it's us, it's still cozy, but it's a bit more lively because like, like Dave and I, when we're on the show together and things are going well, like, he's the straight man, and I'm the funny one, in a sense, you know? Um, not to give myself too much credit, but, like, I'm hyper. I'm really hyper, and I'm, like, really enjoying games, and Dave is, like, the, the kind of down-to-earth one, you know? Kind of, Maldron, yeah. It, it gets rowdy when it's Dave and I. We, like, we, you know, we, we go back and forth... Dave and I, there's like, sometimes we have in-depth conversations that, that like kind of take a long time. Sometimes we, um, we, uh, we like bounce off each other, like we insult each other. It's, it's still cozy. It's still cozy in my opinion, but it's, it feels more like two friends, you know, um, gaming together on a couch, like a Saturday morning kind of thing, because that's what it is. That's what we are, you know? We had the same dynamic when we were younger, you know, when we were like Saturday morning gaming kind of thing. That's a good name for a channel, Saturday morning gaming. It's probably already used though. Oh, wind is what he's weak to, okay. Yeah, Dave, Luigi's Mansion playthrough is what you're used to. De Dave's anger, Dev laughing his ass off and the coziness of it all, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to see the real deal. Let's hope he's actually back next week. Um, but when it's Dave, when, when it's Naomi and I, it's a very different situation than when it's Dave and I, because Naomi and I are a couple, right? It's going to be different. Bring with Naomi on. and I, it's very much... Uh, the situation with Naomi and I is very much... Um, we get into, like, old couples arguments on the show, and they're really stupidly funny to watch. Because we really dig into each other, you know? And like, we'll, we'll like smack each other a lot on the show. And we'll get into like slap fights, Victory stuff like that. I think it's definitely less cozy because Naomi is not as much of a gamer. Or at least a very different kind of gamer than Davis. It's probably, it's probably less cozy in that sense. But I think there's more comedy to it. Oh yeah, the sponsored games, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when the game, there there is a section in Deadly Premonition where the game makes you drive very slowly behind like you're supposed, you're supposed to tail somebody, right? So the game makes you drive slowly. And the game makes you um not drive too fast, not drive too slow. Um and Naomi and I got into this huge fucking argument about just the, the just the driving and how shitty it was. Uh, 
Um, well, I mean, I'm not here for the Dave and Naomi streams when I'm not around. So what are those? What are those ones like, guys? Tell me. Because I know that Dave and Naomi have been playing Bayonetta like three or four times. What what is their dynamic? This is not the way to the guy that needs needs help. Sexual tension, you think? Naomi makes it, Dave doesn't. What do you mean by that? Let us fight with honor. I think if there's a problem with them, I think it might be because, like, in both of the shows that I'm on, I'm definitely the anchor of... <laughs> That's not completely true, Igory. But, like, it is their project more than it is mine, the Bayonetta playthrough. But, like, I'm I'm the anchor when it's D Naomi and I, and I'm the anchor when it's Dave and I. So when there's Dave and Naomi, I feel like they might have a problem of having something that keeps things going. You know? <laughs> anchor Devo. Like, maybe, maybe with them, like, if, like, if the game entertains them, I'm sure they can have, make a good enough time of it, but, like, if, if things start to slow down, I have a feeling that neither of them will be able to pull things out. The battle is true. They just talk about daily life and foods eaten. So, like, so basically it's more of a podcast than a stream than when it's Dave and Naomi. <laughs> okay. Naomi and Dave might be both straight men, yeah, exactly. Like, Jess, for example, is definitely not a straight man on the show. Whenever she's around. You know? Let us fight with honor. Victory shall be mine. I will cut you down! My turn now. <laughs> Where's attack? Needs more V. Fucking V. Bring it on. What is the problem? Invite V to No Talent Gaming. I only, with, with a few exceptions, there's on, only people that I know IRL are on No Talent Gaming. The difference is that we have sponsored shows where a viewer will pay the amount of money required to be on a show with us. We've had like four or five of those. It's, it's a, it's a, I think it's a way to like foster community engagement and also help support the show. V on NTG. No. <laughs> <laughs> I already did that. Yeah, like, what are all the community sponsored shows we've had? Pixel Precision. Has, he's been on Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, and he's currently on Deadly Premonition, so he's sponsored two of them. Nobody is watching a sponsored two of them. She sponsored. Here's the guy I gotta. I gotta help. She sponsored Kingdom Hearts, and she sponsored Kingdom Hearts: Chain of Memories. Berto Elcon has sponsored a playthrough of Maniac Mansion. Uh, Banu Black has sponsored Salt and Sanctuary. And ah oh shit, was there somebody else? I can't remember. We're going to guide this guy. How does sponsoring work? Um, you pay a bunch of money. Oh, he's the Lisa guy. His name was actually that Lisa guy. No, his name was that Lisa guy, and he had us play the Lisa game. Okay, we have him now with us. Ooh, dude, Vampire was so good. Vampire was so good. And like, uh, Maldren, you're on the short list for the next one that we start. We have, I th we have like five people who want to do them still. Like, they've, they've already paid, and they're just, like, patiently waiting. Which is why I keep getting pissed at Dave missing stuff, because, like, we have people who have paid us. Like, fuck's sakes, man. Let's go. 
Tempest of Ice Shall Rain. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Thus we played that for Halloween 2017 on the channel. It's okay, Meldrin. Like it's it's more of like a, you know, have having you on for the sake of having you on. It's like a it's like a guest thing, you know. Vampire was shit. Well, uh, that confused. All of our game playthroughs are up on the YouTube backlog. I upload every stream vod to YouTube. There's like five years worth of vods up there, man. If you want to go see it, you can go see it. Okay, where's the? Where's the old, is it this one? Clearbrook. Where's Clearbrook? Hold on. There's Clearbrook. Let's go for Clearbrook. Let us fight with honor. Gonna play more multiplayer game focus. Yeah. Once we have like a Friday slot opened up. I want to continue with the idea of a four player Friday. And the first one I want to get back to is, um, first one I want to get back to is the forest. Because there was like four people. Papa Hurl, I mean, I definitely appreciate it, but I'm, I'm gonna wait until we have the current sponsors cleared out. There's five people waiting and I feel I can't, I cannot morally take even more money while I can't, like I have to handle these guys first. Like I appreciate it, but. I, I, I appreciate it, but I, I cannot morally accept any more money right now. Windsor, yeah, weren't you in the forest playthrough? It, it, it'll be on Subscribestar once, I, once Subscribestar gets working. You don't have to do it on Patreon. But the forest is like a is like a multiplayer game that got. four of us were playing on the channel. I, I want to get back to it because it was so fun. How about you? I will cut you down. Now. I'll do my best. Patreon is gone. Patreon was like a Patreon alternative. Patreon and Maker Support were both shut down. They were both shut down by like PayPal. Just the, way, the same way that the subscribe star was. Don't do it yet. God damn it! I'd feel too awful because you, like, you'd be waiting like four or five months at this point. So like, don't do it yet. Boulderfall, Clearbrook. Let's go to Clearbrook. Yeah, Maker Support still took money for like a year after they shut down. It was bullshit. Why, hi. Okay, where do we bring this guy? Like, we have him with us. We're in Clearbrook. Is this the daughter? Hey! Is it her? I swear to God. Hello. Hey. <laughs> it's her. Okay, great. We did it. Grandpa. Back in my day, pudding cups. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll keep you informed, Papa Hurl, for sure. Yeah. But yeah, we do the sponsored shows, too. And those are usually a lot of fun. I think that confused. Was it you that wanted to do the PS2 game? 
I can't remember, but somebody wanted the PS2 game. And Maldrin, I'm not sure if you chose a game yet. And Dynasty Star is on the hook for one. And so is Butters the Ninja. Wasn't you? Shit up. I feel so bad that I can't remember who it was. Yeah, we helped the lost granddad. Wait, what two girls? Makes makes sense that confused. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'll tell you. I'll tell you guys some. Um. So. So I. I have some hidden information for you guys. Inquire. Yeah, I'll, Sargon today got paid in full from Subscribestar, so it's working. It is a legitimate, um, it is a, a legitimate way to get money from people into the bank account for for creators, and that means that that's good. We can we can now actually successfully revolt against Patreon. Subscribestar still isn't allowing. Uh, new user, new users to get money yet? Like they're still working out some kinks. Um, he said it this morning. I agree. They're still working out some kinks, but he got he 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 got this he, he got this this um he, he got the money for last month this morning. It uses a service called Payoneer, which is like a PayPal alternative. So. I will have to open a Payoneer account and then open up a uh, Subscribestar. And if Subscribestar works, I will be moving there. I'll, I'll move all the, the Patreon goals, I'll move them to Subscribestar. I'll promote that in my videos. That'll be the thing that I use because I cannot in good conscience promote Patreon anymore. But uh, now that it's working, the last step Subscribestar has to do is open things up to the, to the rest of their user base. So let's hope. I agree, morality, but it's still cause for celebration. Gentile madame, where's she, the way of the woods? Where's the way of the woods? I'm gonna try and find it. In the woodlands. So I will fast travel to Swarky. And go find her and escort her to wherever she needs to go. Cozy, you want a blanket now? There have been streams where, like, Naomi's got the blanket over there and, like, wrapped it up around her. I've never used crypto. I don't really know how, what to do. You fall asleep while watching our stream. It's that cozy. Well, I'm happy about that. Windsor, and what's the most cozy? Is it the solo streams, or is it, like, Dave and I, or is it Naomi and I, or is it Dave and Naomi? I know that when there's, like, other guests, aside from us three, because we're the three main hosts... When it's other people, it gets to like, it turns into a shit show. Like, when there's four of us and we're like playing Mario Party, it stops being cozy and it starts being like the rowdiest fucking party. Like, people screaming at each other and like, I can't fucking believe you did that. Shit like that, man. No, wait, no.
working in Boulderfall. I will escort you to Boulderfall. Let's go. The leading of that woman to Boulderfall can be bugged. Okay, I'll save it right now. How can it be bugged? Like, what's the what's the story there? Yeah, like, we, we have our cozy moments in this show, but we also have, like, our rage moments because, like, man, playing Hollow Knight with Dave and watching him just, like, die over and over and over on a boss. I'm just like, ah, oh, come on, man. And he, like, nerd rages and throws the controller. I don't know how crypto works. Like, what, like, what is a crypto wallet, for example? Let's see what you got. My turn now. Leading her to Boulder Fall is not. <laughs> Here we go. It's a wallet. But like it's like a digital wallet, basically. I see, Kleiner. Okay. Bring it on. So let me let me get this straight. It's like you have a file called a wallet. And the wallet, it just has more data in it, the more Bitcoins you have. Good day. I got information about the giant boar. I can go back and give the information to him now. And he can complete his giant boar quest. Let me read this here. Interesting dilemma. Okay. Cryptocurrency is basically based on the blockchain, which is a distributed set of transactions that are computing through the collective power of peer-to-peer of, of peer -to -peer users. Okay. Alright. Your wallet contains a series of transactions that pertain to you. I mean, I'm not looking to. I'm not looking to get rich off of crypto, but I am looking to find some kind of solution outside of the basic financial system. Because Jesus Christ, it seems to be corrupt as fuck, and crypto seems to be a thing you can do. It's just that um, the biggest problem with cryptocurrency is that the biggest problem with cryptocurrency is that eventually you have to withdraw it into real money. Like, you can't, like, some places you can buy with crypto, but most places you can't buy with crypto. So you have to, you have to basically take the crypto, cryptocurrency, like, like your bitcoins, and trade them to be money. And once you, like... And if too many people want to change bitcoins into... Yeah, if, if, too, if too many people want to, you know, exchange their cryptocurrency into real money, I can see the value of cryptocurrency going down real, real fucking quick. You know, like who who's buying into crypto and not just buying out of it to get real money? Because real money is what you, you can you, like. You can't pay your rent with crypto right now. You can't buy groceries with crypto. Like, all the essentials still require real money, so you, you have to pay out eventually. Hello. 
I'll tell you what I know. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, well, here, here's, here's a good question. If there is a limited amount of crypto coins that can ever be, that can, that can ever exist, isn't, won't mining eventually start to produce diminishing returns? Like, won't there be a point where you could mine for crypto all you want and never get a single coin? Like, you wouldn't get anything out of it because the limited amount of coins has already been exceeded? My turn now. The battle is truly joined. That's why the 1080 GTX card rush is so fucking annoying. Well, yeah, because all these people buying up, like, fucking, what, hundreds of thousands of dollars of graphics cards, and they're just, like, destroying their wallets and then destroying Bitcoin. It's like, oh, well, okay. Like, I can't, I can't see myself ever being a Bitcoin miner. But I would not mind taking donations in Bitcoin and then exchanging it for real money because it's a, it's a way around. Oh, Swarky, Victor's Hollow, Boulderfall. Let us fight with honor. How come you think that uh, people should invest in wire coat hangers? Like, I actually don't think that uh, abortion rights in the States are at risk just yet. They might be in the future, but I don't think they are just yet. I will cut you down! All right. <laughs> Try again. Cards optimized for gaming, cards optimized for mining. Jesus. I mean, I guess they're making their money though, right? They're getting in on, on the on the scheme. Well, there's a trick to make to use wire coat hanger bits to make the AR-15s fully automatic. Jesus. I was thinking abortions, I wasn't thinking that. A good day for battle. Now. <sighs> now then. I will cut you down. All right. My turn now. Damn. The thrill of the fight. Like I, I actually, okay, everyone kept saying that when, when Kavanaugh got got his appointment, it was going to be like the end of the fucking earth. And then I looked up his record, and I've seen some of the things he's done since he got his game audio disordered. Shouldn't be. Sounds okay to me. Hello? Fun for you, okay. Be like, I've looked into Kavanaugh and he seemed to be just like a regular, regular dude, you know? And like, he said he, he, he didn't, 
he seemed like like abortion was largely settled in his eyes. Like, like a lot of the things they said that that he'd do, it he he didn't do. Yeah, like it's it's okay. Hey, you're safe. Good day to you. Not bad at all. Read this, guys. It's it's kind of funny. Read this. Some would call it strange and unhealthy to think only of another and not at all of oneself, but it would seem that this is indeed what this woman does. By all accounts, she spends her every waking moment worrying over her husband as if she has no identity whatsoever save that which exists relative to his. The game knows she's an NPC. See. The rumor. The folk of Slumtown are plotting to rebel against the Highborn. Some people are like that, but it's still kind of funny because she she was actually an NPC that we like moved from town to town just now. New weapons for sale. She's like an egg woman, like okay, egg seeking girl. What's her story? We're in the Cliff lands. I gotta find her egg, I guess. Like, these are some strange side quests, man. Just go find. She, she's she's called the Mother of Dragons, by the way. That's obviously a reference. But you have to go find her egg. Find her dragon egg. Where the fuck did it go? A good day to you. I think a lot of these side quests just are you using all these various party skills on like every person you meet. It's all just like social interactions, I think. Wasn't there like a massive crash though in crypto? Like a, like half a year ago when all the miners blew in. Yeah, all this stuff is old, I think. I don't think I need any of this. Are you going to bed, Parrot Man? I might go soon, too. I'm getting pretty tired. What are we at? We're at 39 episodes. Are you, are you still punished, Dev? Always punished, Dev. Oh. 
Jesus Christ. Come on, Popper. Fucking owned. <laughs> we just destroyed your guard. It's a cell sword. Scrutinize and inquire are the same thing. It's just that scrutinize costs reputation and inquire doesn't. Why would you why would you ever use Scrutinize over inquire. I'm we're not gonna I'm not gonna go easy. I mean, you threatened to skin me and sell me to a butcher. I'm not going easy on that guy. How about you? You wanna let me in? <laughs> Fuck you, let me into the house. Blew him away, dude. Fuck you. Dankula is streaming up, opening up card packs at 4.30 a.m. Dankula loves card games, it seems, man. Scrutinize can give you different rewards than Inquire. Not sure, though. Well, the thing about that is, as soon as I used Inquire, he's still, I, I still, it still unlocked whatever Scrutinize had. This guy had literally nothing to his house, so I don't know why I did that. Okay, so screw. Okay, so inquire. You have to be at a specific level to use inquire, and that's that. You can use scrutinize on on higher level characters, but there's a chance to fail. So scrutinize is more boom and bust. Inquire is more dependable, but has like a lesser use. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, you learned some tips and tricks. I have not played Jackbox. I don't know what Jackbox is. I'm not against the idea of playing. I just don't know what it is. Dude, we're going to beat the shit out of a pregnant woman. I know you don't know Jack, but I don't know Jackbox. Mm. I might look up where some of these side quests go and then come back for next time. Because it is getting to the point that I want to go to bed. Naomi, so I'm going to spend some time with her before, before I snooze. I'll give it a try. I'll take a look at it, okay? We can do it on the show. <clears throat> um, anyway, yes, yeah, it's, it's time for me to go. Thank you very much for putting up with yet a third Octopath Traveler. It might be a fourth tomorrow, who knows? We will see. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later. I love you.